This is Muddy Pond, a Mennonite settlement near Crossville. The people here are new Tennesseans, living a lifestyle that was ours a century ago. Their values remain constant, just like the years that continue to pass by unchanged. The religion dates back to the 14th century, when Mennonites began to separate themselves from worldly affairs. They were mistreated because of their beliefs, and thousands came to America. Here they speak their own language, a mixture of European tongues, to shield themselves from the modern world. A little over 20 years ago, the Mennonites cleared out the settlement of Muddy Pond and found a home in Tennessee. I fit in pretty good, I guess, with them. <laughs> I've become a hillbilly. <laughs> pretty much so. But, uh, well, we started off pretty much pioneering here. It was where I grew up when we got here. You cleared the land? Yeah, we cleared the land. Most of the axes and cross cut saws. Though they may look different, the Mennonites cling to the land in a way we understand. A kinship has grown. Dinner's ready. Hello. Where should I put it? Here. Okay. Do you get to eat like this every day? Just about. Help yourself. <laughs> Aaron Bowman and his brother Amos worked together here at Muddy Pond making harnesses. They started using electricity a while back, although traditional Mennonites don't, or drive tractors or cars. The Bowmans may appear modern by Mennonite standards, but their way of making a living is based on the old ways. Their livelihood depends on the horse, just as much as traditional Mennonites who use them to plow fields and grind cane for molasses. It's truly a handiwork, for Aaron and Amos must know the feel of good leather. Yeah, that comes out of the belly, and the, the leather is a lot more stretchy in there. Now, there's, there's places that you can use a piece of leather that don't have to, that don't get, uh, get a lot of pressure on it that you can, that you can use and in other places where you got to use the strongest leather there is. You got to know where the strong parts are and the, the, the weak parts. These talents and trades were for generations passed down through all families in Tennessee. The traditions of the Mennonites are in many ways ours. Traditions that have all but disappeared today, except for places like Muddy Pond, where the past has found a foothold. We believe in a very uh, simple life. We go to, through this world once, you know, and we'll just live for the Lord and uh, do things honest and the truth and things that have value in this life. <laughs>